In this video, we are going to see about process sealing in transmitters. What is a process seal? Process seal is a seal that is used for process connected equipment. Used to prevent the migration of flammable or combustible process fluids from the designed containment into the external wiring system in non-hazardous areas or other classified areas. Types of Process Seal Primary Seal and Secondary Seal A seal that is directly in contact with process fluids during the operation of equipment. A seal that comes into contact with process fluids only in the case of the primary seal failure. Various standards, defining the process sealing. They are NFPA, NEC 70 Article 501.17 CEC, Rule 18070 ANSI, ISA 12.27.01 IEC 60079-40 Let's see, NFPA 70, 501.17 Process Sealing Requirements This standard is applicable to Process Connected Equipments Like, Pumps, Flow, Pressure, Temperature, or Analysis Measurement Instruments Process connected electrical equipment that incorporates a single process seal, shall be provided with an additional means to mitigate the single process seal failure. Examples of single process seal is, single compression seal, diaphragm, and tube. Additional means is listed below. A suitable barrier, meeting the process temperature and pressure conditions. There shall be a vent or drain, between the single process seal and the suitable barrier. Indication of the single process seal failure shall be provided by visible leakage, an audible whistle, or other means of monitoring. A listed type MI cable assembly, rated at, not less than 125% of the process pressure and the max process temperature, degrees Celsius. Installed between the cable or conduit and the single process seal. A drain or vent located between the single process seal and a conduit or cable seal sized to prevent overpressuring the conduit or cable seal above 6 inches of water column. Indication of the single process seal failure shall be provided by visible leakage, an audible whistle, or other means of monitoring. An add-on secondary seal. Rated for the pressure and temperature conditions to which it will be subjected upon failure of the single process seal. ANSI, ISA 12.27.01 Process Sealing This standard identifies two sealing methods. To test and certify a single high integrity seal, referred to as single seal. Testing includes temperature and fatigue testing of the seal, where it is subjected to 100,000 pressure cycles at worst case temperatures. Following this testing, the seal is subjected to leakage and burst over pressure tests. 
to test and certify a multiple seal configuration, referred to as dual seal. Refer to ANSI, ISA 12.27.01 for dual seal testing of devices, with and without enunciation of the primary seal failure. Both methods provide adequate measures to prevent process fluid from entering into the electrical system. Process sealing consideration in transmitters. For explosion proof or flame proof transmitters. Seals may be necessary to prevent the propagation of flame through the cable or conduit system. A flame proof or explosion proof seal is commonly referred to as a conduit or cable seal. Installed at the entry of electrical equipment to prevent flame propagation from one portion of the electrical system to another. The seal is either a port seal or a compression fitting. Flame proof or explosion proof seals are required on all installations where conduit or cable passes from one hazardous location to another or to a safe area. These seals are not designed to contain process fluids. Typically hold a maximum pressure of 6 inches of H2O before allowing process fluids to pass. FM and CSA standards require explosion pressure testing be performed on the transmitter, to eliminate the need for conduit seals. Equipment that passes this testing is typically marked factory sealed or seal not required. For transmitter sensors with wetted parts, Additional sealing may be necessary to prevent the process from entering the electrical system and migrating from hazardous areas to safe or unclassified areas. Rose amount pressure transmitter designs incorporate multiple components to produce high integrity seals that eliminate the need for an additional seal as identified in the standards. components within a typical transmitter sensor module is shown in the above picture. Rose amount pressure transmitters with FM or CSA approval are labeled factory sealed or seal not required for users in the United States and Canada. This is an indicator to installers that separate process seals and explosion proof seals, conduit seals, are not required. Thanks for watching this video, for more videos like this, subscribe to Simple Science.